Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, just an update on the Smash TV. I am taking the joysticks out and cleaning them, uh, trying to get this rust off, get them looking a little bit better. Um, they weren't playing that well. This one here was completely froze up. It took me about an hour to get the shaft out of the, the joystick. It was locked in there. Um, so lots of WD-40 and just waiting and kind of twisting it back and forth until it finally came. But um, yeah, look at the rust on these. And then let me show you these over here. My garage is a mess, guys, but um, you can see I've started to clean these up. Let's take a look at them here. You can see that I've gotten a lot of the rust off. What I'm doing is I'm using Novus 3, 2, and 1 to kind of, um, you know, get the rust off, um, get the, the pits out the best I can, and then smooth it over with the 1. And I'm out of clear coat, but I'll spray some clear coat on them so they don't do it again. Um, yeah, you can see it's just all rusty and icky looking down there. But uh, I got to get that cleaned up so it doesn't freeze up again. But that's what I'm working on. Um, I'm going to paint these. These are, these are the bolts that hold the joystick in. I think originally they were like um, just silver bolts. Um but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sand these down and then just paint them black. Uh, so work on that the rest of the day. But yeah, we'll be back. I'll show you what it looks like once we get everything cleaned up and put back together. Um, but it'll be nice to have the um, control panel here looking, looking good. Right now it's looking pretty rough. So, um, all right guys, we'll be back here in a little bit once we, um, oh yeah, and I thought I'd tell you the method. So basically I'm just sticking the joystick in my uh, drill, and then I'm just polishing it with a rag and the Novus. Uh, it goes really quick and does a really good job. So, all right, guys, well, I'll be back here shortly, and I'll show you what these all look like cleaned up. Okay, guys, got two of these done. You can see, you know, I repaint, repainted the bolts black, um, you know, got all the rust cleaned up. I don't have any clear coat. I'm going to have to get some so I can spray these because, you know, the rust weighed, ate away at the um, the plating on these. And so when you, you know, when you um, sand it down, all the plating's already gone anyways, but I just don't want it to rust again. So I just, I need to spray it with some clear coat. I just don't have any. But yeah, you can see that these turn freely as they should, um, you know, they're not locked in place. This one was really locked in place. Uh, it took a long time to, to break it away. But these two over here, I still need to work on. So um, let's go ahead and pull the control panel down here and show you how these come apart. And see if we can get a good view here. There we go. And yeah, I'll just go ahead. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is remove the, the C-clip. And I don't have a tool, so I've just been using a pair of needle nose pliers. And you got to be really careful um, because these things are like on there by pressure. So if you're not careful when you take it off, they'll fling way away um, and you'll have a hard time finding it. Um, let's take a look here. I'm going to move the angle of that a little just so I can get to this. And it should just pull straight off here. It's being a little tougher. There we go. And we're just going to set that to the side. And once you have that out, you can see like this one, see how it's much tougher to turn. So I'm trying to work this joystick. There it goes. It broke free. But look at all the, the rust, you know, holding that, uh, locking that in place. And that's causing lots of issues with the joystick. Um, not only visual, but also um, not working as it should. Um, so let's set that just up here for now. And then there's a collar piece here. We'll get that all cleaned up. And then there's also a spring piece here. Focus. 
there's the spring but same thing we'll get that cleaned up it's got a bunch of this one isn't too bad but it's got some rust on it um and then after that's out all we got to do is take the four nuts off um and then this piece will just remove and we can get it all cleaned up so um, i'm gonna go ahead and work on the rest of these um and i will be back shortly i will show you though when i clean this i'm gonna show you guys how i do it um, i'm gonna put this in my drill and clean it up and i'll show you guys how i go through that process but uh yeah i'll be back here in a second Okay guys, so yeah, I just have like an old sock here and then some Novus 3 is what I'm going to start with, but I'm just going to put some Novus 3 on here like so. Um, then I have the joystick in my drill and then we're just going to you know, kind of get this on here a little bit like so and then just use this to clean off the rust. You can see, look at it, it's already cleaning up really good, but um, add a little more Novus here. Yeah, you can see how well that cleaned up already. So I do this for a while with three, and then I do it with two, and then I do it with one um, just to try to smooth it out. But I'm trying to do it to get rid of all the rust and the pitting here. Um, but yeah, okay, I'll be back in a second uh, once I get these done. And I wanted to show you, too, the uh, bottom part of the joystick, how it comes apart. So I'll be back here in just a second. Okay guys, so here's the bottom part of the joystick taken apart. You got like your dust cover here. You can see this one's filthy. Um, you know, you got the switches right here with four screws. It goes on top of this piece. I've taken it out just to save some time. And then you have the, the rubber, oh, you have the, the washer here that goes in between. And then you have this rubber grommet piece. This is the piece on the first joystick I was taking out. Um, that was locked uh the joystick was locked to it there we go but this comes out too and i'm just going to get all this cleaned up and get this re-lubricated you can see it's super rusty in there but um yeah that's how these wicko joysticks come apart and what they consist of i'm just going to get this cleaned up and lubed up get this cleaned up and lubed get all this cleaned up uh, put it back together, and I will be back when we're all done. All right, be back shortly. All right, guys, well, here they are, all put back together, looking good and working good, too. They were really stiff before. Uh, now they're nice, and everything's working like it should, nice and smooth. Well, all right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Let's go ahead and end it with some gameplay. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.